Hello, my name is Jay and welcome to my YouTube video. In this video, I want to show you how to code a macro from other Excel workbook. So over here, I have two Excel uh, workbook. I have a workbook called Hollow World and I also have a blank workbook called book1.xlsm. And both Excel files are saved in a folder called uh, in my tutorial folder. In the Hello World Excel file, I have a macro called display message. And basically, we call this uh, display message macro by providing a, like a, a value or a message that you want to display. So if you have a, a test macro, that basically call the display message macro and giving the uh, input value of hello. So if I just run this, yeah, I'm going to get a pop-up message uh, with the uh, text hello. So what happened if you want to code a macro from other Excel workbook? So for example, let's say you have an Excel uh, file that you store all your macro procedures, all your uh, functions, but you're working on a different Excel file and you want to be able to use some of the macros that uh, maybe from another workbook. And so for example, on the book one Excel workbook, and I want to be able to code the display message uh, macro from the Hello World Excel file. And to do that, so let's open the Fibre window by going to the developer ribbon or tab and click on Visual Basic. So I'm on the Hello World.excel, the Excel file, and I'm going to delete this. So that makes uh, the sense a little bit clear to see. And so this is my uh, source. Excel file and I want to be able to code the macro from the Hello World the Excel file. So let me close this Excel file, the Hello World Excel workbook first. And to do that, so I'm going to call this macro, I'll display my message. If the Excel files that contains the macro is uh, in the same folder as the uh, the source file, meaning the file that you are using to code the macro from other workbook. Then you can just do uh, application that runs and basically uh, single quotation. So you want to use the double quotation since the text, and then within that, you want to use the single quotation to wrap the uh, Excel file name. So my workbook name is uh, Hello World. So I'll just type Hello World. Uh, XLSM in single quotation to close the, the text and, and double quotation to finish. And then you want to use the exclamation sign, then type the macro name. So my macro name will be display message. And so follow that with the uh, argument is just the parameter. So my parameter is the, the message uh, text. So hello world and that's my message. Now if we run this and it will open the uh, hello world excel file and display the message. So unfortunately uh, for some reason I can't, I'm not able to figure out, you know, let's say if your uh, target excel file is stored in a different folder. I'm not able to, so let's, let me show you what I mean. So I hope you have the directory that way I save the Excel file. And if I try to combine the folder path with the uh, file name, so do this and back for slash. So here's the full path, so it's the, or the full name of the Excel file. And if I run this, I'm going to get an error saying that so we cannot find the Excel file. Maybe it's remove, rename, or delete. And so even if I remove the single quotation, I'm going to run the same issue too. So to overcome that issue, and so what you want to do is I'm going to create another uh, macro. I'm going to call this one, display my message to. I'm going to close this uh, Hello World Excel file. And so you want to create uh, using variables, the workbook uh, object variable. So I'm going to declare my variable first. So I'm going to call this uh, macro workbook as workbook type. Then I'm going to create another file variable called file path. 
and this uh, this variable is going to store the folder directory uh, stream. So file path equals to we grab the folder path and just copy and paste and insert a backward slash. And if you want, I'm still going to do this. I'm going to create a, a, a one more variable called a uh, target workbook name string and target workbook name will be the hello world .xml file and so from this point let's create our macro workbook object first and it will be workbooks open and here's you want to provide the uh, file name so the file name will be the file path plus the uh, target workbook name and we, so let me just so when you finish running the macro uh, I would actually just make, making sure that I close or empty out all my object variables and I should mean to this so there's one more uh, property I want to set. So I'm going to set the read only as two. Since I don't want any chance that the macro buffer is going to get modified. And from this point, we basically just use the application that runs. So I'm going so always wrap with the single quotation and the macro book and that name and single quotation here formation sign and the macro that you want to use or to call and this one message and from the point since we have a uh, uh, argument that we need to provide so I'm going to just, um, do some dummy text hello my name is uh, J Yeah, I'm going to do one more thing. So, because every time when you uh, call a macro from a different Excel file, it's always going to open the um, the Excel workbook that contains the macros. So I want to close that Excel file after I finish running my macro. So I'll just do uh, macro workbook that close, and under the save change uh, property, I want to set that to false. And that should be it. So now if we just run the display message too, so let me just do this way. Go into view and go to macros. And macros in this workbook. I'm going to run the display my message too. And it's going to display uh, the message box with with the uh, text. Hello, my name is Jay. And when I click on OK, and that's going to close the Excel file based on based on the uh, macro workbook that close statement. So this line right here. So this is everything I want to cover in this video and I hope you guys found this video useful. And feel free to send me an email or any question you have. Thank you for watching and see you guys soon. Bye bye.